Hello. Hello. Hey, hi. Oh my gosh. I didn't check my teeth. I think we're good though. We're good. Cool. 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 I was going to say, so I had, I was set up at our old upstairs that we did last week. Um, I set myself up there and then I forgot my mom actually came over today and she made my soup uh, for dinner tonight. I was going to make it, but she was going to me too. And I'm like, sure. And she put it on the burner and I got all set up upstairs. I'm like, I should be down here where I can monitor the soup, stir it if need be. But, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable leaving it unattended, which, you know, granted, I shouldn't. Um, so that is why we are down here today. Um, but hello, hello, hello. Hey, hi, welcome. Hopefully I am showing up a-okay um, and that we are all you know, I, I hopefully, I, I probably should have checked. Let me know if the audio is weird, if the visual is weird. Um, let me know. I, let me, let me notify Instagram just really, really quick. I feel like I should, should I? I should, probably. We'll just do it really quick. Um, and I will, I will, you know, I just feel like, I don't know. We just, I don't know. To cover my, I mean, honestly, at this point, like it's clear that we have a love, but also on Instagram, I feel like I don't know. <laughs> Never mind, we're not doing it <laughs> anyway. Hey, hi, hello. Today we are talking about, um, we're talking about out of my league, which is why I have something red right on today. It's a little bit more like low cut than I like love, but I had nothing else red. I never wear red. Red is not a color that I ever ever pick up. Trinity Lim actually talked me into buying this shirt. So Trinity, thank you for the red, but um, I wanted to wear red in honor of Out of My League because that is the cover. Although when I was rereading it, I thought it was really fun. This is, I thought it was really funny um, that the baseball team is the Royals and they are purple and gold, which why did I do that? It definitely should have been like red and white hello 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 i don't know but we we made a, a poor decision and it is what it is <laughs> but that's why i thought there's something on my teeth there's something on my screen right where my teeth are meow, 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 meow. okay hey hi hello so glad you guys can make it let me know did you guys finish are you finished when did you finish it if you read the book let me know um, I finished it Friday. Actually, I, I binge read it all in one day. Um, I, yeah, I, oh my gosh. So honestly, honestly, I, I'm glad to hear Jaya. Um, <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> honestly, I, um, I, so this book put me through the ringer emotionally because if you don't know the whole backstory behind it, um, I, uh, I, uh, queried this book. I wrote this book. I think I started it in 2017 and then I began querying it in 2018 and it was accepted by a publishing company. They accepted it. And then I worked with an editor to go back and forth with revisions on it. The editor was terrible at communication. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, and I went back and forth with this editor for a while. And then at one point, the editor just stopped replying to my emails. And so after a few months, I reached out to a head person in charge of the, pub at the publishing company, uh, uh, in charge of acquisitions. And I was like, hey, uh, just looking for more information. Like, I haven't been hearing from my editor. What's going on? Um, and they informed me that the editor who was working on my project was no longer with the company. And then the acquisitions head read out of my league. And then they ultimately ended up passing on it. So I worked on that book for over a year, um, tweaking into this, to like making it better, improving it and stuff. And they ended up passing on the manuscript. And I was heartbroken. I was so sad. It was it was it was really really sad, and then the week that it happened, Sarah Kane launched her publishing course, and then from there it was, you know, it was 
self-publishing all the way. Um, but I will say I put out of my league on the back burner for a long time after that because Water Friends 4 was next in the lineup. And so it was kind of like full steam ahead to like prepare Water Friends 4 and like get that ready for publication. So that's what I did. Um, and so out of my league was probably shelved until January, I would say. And at that point, I didn't do... I don't think I did a copy. I don't remember. I do remember at a certain point, I'm like, I am done looking at this book. I am done editing this book. I am done with it all. And I sent it to proofreaders. So I don't remember what kind of edits I did. I know I skipped at least one phase of editing. I don't know what phase. I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know. I, I know I skipped it though, because I'm like, I, I'm not doing this because I was just so done with it at that point. However, so all that to say, I had some like not great feelings about, about, about out of my league, to be honest. And so I was, I was, in, I was eager to go back to this book to see if I could like, see if I could find my love for it again. <sighs> you guys, I loved this book. I loved it so much. I mean, I, I at least knew fully that I loved Walsh. I knew fully that we loved Walsh. Um, but the dynamic between him and Sophia, obsessed. I was obsessed. I absolutely adored every single moment of it. Um, and it's funny because last week I had said, last week I had said that I, it's funny how people say that What Are Friends For is, no, People, how people say Out of My League is better than Warner Friends 4. And I think it's funny because Out of My League was written first. And I don't know what it was. I do think Out of My League is better. And, like, everybody has their own opinions. And, um, you know, that's just how it's going to be. I do think Out of My League is better. But I also want to say, I think, I don't necessarily think craft-wise it's better. I just think we have characters with different voices that are a bit more fun to read like Elijah is not a sort of sarcastic witty you know character the way Walsh is so Elijah is never gonna read like Walsh so the romance between Remy and Elijah is never gonna read like the romance between Sophia and Walsh so I don't necessarily think craft wise it's better um but I do think like tonally and the way the dynamic worked I just loved those dynamics so much more and out of my league it's just like oh, 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 oh. I just loved it so much I hope you guys did too I hope you guys did too um how is everyone doing how are we doing I can't believe it's Sunday it feels like we just had our last live stream where we we're talking with each other about books but I'm glad to be here tonight and I'm glad Out of My League is one of your favorite books ever. Oh my gosh, that makes me so excited. Finished the book yesterday. Love this book too. Just finished it a few minutes ago. Hadn't read it since 2021. Wow. Wow. See, I haven't, I, I, I think I was hands off with it. May of 2020. I don't think I ever read it. I don't, like, I don't remember reading it. So I think I'm pretty sure I was hands off. So I... There, when I got to the baseball scene, you guys, I was like, oh, like the scene, there's a lot of baseball scenes, the scene where um, Walsh and Remy go to like the baseball at night, the diamond at night. When I got to that scene, I had completely forgotten about it, completely forgotten about it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this scene, this scene. And the funny thing is too, especially with, with Adam and League, especially with Adam and League, is that this book went through so many rounds of edits that I literally was it was it was so fun because I'm like I don't remember what happens I literally don't because like to 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 give you an idea like the party scene where Scott is all like ew Sophia is gross um, that initially happened upstairs in Walsh's bedroom and like like they just they 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 took he, Scott took her out of the party to like discuss this with her privately how she sucks and stuff um and so reading about it happening in the middle of the party with like everybody around i was like oh that's so embarrassing <laughs> you know i was like oh my gosh and what is another big edit that happened that i remember being like oh my gosh we're reading oh but 
when they were at the baseball diamond, I believe I initially had written like a security guard or like a police officer coming and being like, you guys can't be here. And he was the reason why they didn't kiss instead of Sophia being the one to push him away. Um, so that was another edit that I was just like, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. So it's just like, it's just like, ah, ah, it's so fun to see the differences. Um, and it's funny that it's like different how I ha remembered it in my head. So, so yeah, it was just fun. It was fun. It was so fun. I'm glad, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I read it once a year. It's still my favorite. Ah, I love that so much. It's a perfect book to read in like the summertime, I will say. Oh, it's my top three Sarah books that run with Bad Boy and Two Kinds of Us. Oh, love it. We are gonna love when we get to Two Kinds of Us then. I'm so excited for Two Kinds of Us. I'm so I'm so excited for Can't Catch a Breath too. Um, but the first time reading it, we'll read it again for sure. Oh my gosh, well, I hope I'm I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm so glad. Also, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I just I want, I'm trying really hard to, I, well, this is only the second time I've done it, but I want to try really hard to like match the outfit to the book. So something red going on here and it's long sleeve, but I don't know. It's also like tight. So I don't, I don't know. It feels cool, but thank you. <laughs> um, the next question I wanted to ask you guys, and I had you ruminate about it. There was one question last week that I wanted to ask, but I don't remember what it was. And I'm so upset that I don't remember um but what was i i sent the questions i'm, I'm gonna look it up real quick um what was your favorite scene let me know tell me your favorite scene you guys let me know your favorite scene <sighs> okay i'm glad I, I also probably should have uh checked to make sure i sounded and looked okay before i started talking for 12 minutes but glad i glad i sound okay yay oh, thank you <laughs> i i don't know if it's my color i really should I've, I, ever on TikTok, everyone's talking about like getting their like color match, you know, and I have rosacea, so it's really hard for me to like find my true color match. So I want to do it, but I don't know how accurate it would be with my rosacea because I wear makeup. So it's like my makeup's going to affect, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I never looked much into it, but I noticed that too, like why aren't they red? I don't know. So stupid. I don't know why I didn't, I did. I don't know why I didn't, uh, change them to be red. It's so strange. It's so strange. But you know, it's like a, it's like a little, it's like a little tidbit for those who actually like pay attention. Cause like, um, I did a graphic once that was purple and gold for the baseball team. And so it's like, if anybody who's been paying attention, you know that that is. Oh, sorry. So I got distracted because I'm like, my the soup isn't boiling yet, and that's strange. My mom put the burner on low. That's nice for her. I, I didn't even look, but <laughs> finished it yesterday. I finished it in two days. Love it, love it. Didn't finish in time, too much going on. That's totally okay. I'm curious, though, where you got up to. Curious, curious. Uh, lounge listening on Audible. Awesome, awesome. The famous Adam Lee Publishing Disney. You know, it, it was a disaster at the time, but I think everything worked out for the best. You know, I think it did. I think it did. <sighs> Definitely think it did. Uh, this story, yeah, this was, this was, uh, how old would I have been then? 19? 2019, so 20? Well, if I started querying it in 2018, I would have been 19. And then 2019 out of 20. So, yeah, young Sarah had a very sad time, but we are, we're, we're doing, we're thriving now with, with the journey and the path that we chose. <laughs> Walsh is the best guy ever. I just love, I do love Walsh. Oh, hello, hello. I do think he's like one of like the greenest green flags, but like, no, like he's just, he's just a great guy. Has much improvement over what it runs for. Is that what you mean? Or just in general? Because I don't. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Also, my favorite book boyfriend, him, Vincent, and Hudson. Love it, love it, love it. Here's our Walsh and Harry. I don't know about the MLT guys because I've never read, the, never, I've never reread or read on. 
I'd love to see some old. They were in the short story tier. I did get rid of, rid of my short story tier, so I don't have those posted anymore, unfortunately. But they were accessible for a little bit. I love Love and I, re I read Love and Fenty County because I started the process of publishing my first ever book. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Oh, I love that so much. Can't pick my favorite scene. I love 200 pages straight of the book. Really enjoyed the dinner scene. Nice, nice. My favorite scene was the fourth. I, I agree. The fourth of July scene is my favorite scene. I feel like that is just like, it's peak, like, it's peak cuteness, you know? And like, it just showcases um how thoughtful and adorable Walsh is just like on his own, you know? And it's like kind of one of our first times that he is doing something that is clearly just for them do you know what I mean like it's clearly he's clearly doing it just for Sophia like there's no audience for them to perform for so I feel like that is just and like that's one of the first times that Sophia kind of like really realizes that she realizes it a little, little bit here and there but um just oh just oh. I also love the sign at the end oh the sign scene yes ah I forgot that when Sophia visits Walsh and he's sick. That one's good. That one is good. I also made, I made a comment on that one. How she like brings him chicken noodle soup and she's talking about how chicken noodle has less sodium than tomato soup or whatever. I thought it was so cute because in the first chapter, she was talking about how her only idea for her back to school article was how chicken soup is better for you than tomato. And I'm like, that's so cute that that got brought back. And like, honestly, at this point, my friends, I literally am shocked by some of the things I am doing. So, like, I hope none of this sounds conceited. Like, oh, that's so great how that was brought back. I'm like, I thought that that far ahead in those early stages of my writing days. I I brought that back. Wow. So, I, I hope it doesn't sound conceited because I literally am just like, wow, that was cute. So, I take let's just pretend like I'm the reader as well. Like, I'm, you know, let's just pretend that because I swear. <laughs> Oh, the fourth, uh, the July 4th scene was cute. I also love that he came to her house for breakfast. Wow. Ah, of the chapter where her parents told her they were getting divorced. She was like, sweet. Oh, oh, the, the drama, the, the teenage angst. We love, we love. I know to this book is literally me saying, I love Walsh nonstop. I <laughs> continue. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. Ah, <laughs> that's sweet of you. Uh, next question Who is your favorite character? I feel like this is going to be out. I mean, it's going to. It's pretty good. Well, well, I modified it. I modified it last time. What did I say? What character that's not the main cast stood out to you, maybe? I did love Edith. I think, I mean, it's 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 a little sad because Edith was supposed to get her own book. Um, but it just didn't work um, in terms of, like, booking together with the series. Out of my league and Edith's book would have been far too, like, intertwined for them to fit into the series very well. But I did love Edith, like Edith's character. And there was one note that I had that was so cute. Also, mm, Courtney, um, I know you said you are not finished. So this is probably going to be a spoilery chat. So if you don't want spoilers, maybe come watch the replay. But if you're like me and you don't care about spoilers, then like, I'm so glad you're here. I literally, I seek out spoilers, you guys. I'm a, people say I'm a psychopath, but... My people, my cousins is on the psychopath. We watched a horror movie and I didn't know the ending and she would not let me look it up. And I was dying the entire time because I'm like, how does it end? I have to know who dies. Uh, uh, let me find my note really quick. It was about Sophia and Wall, not Sophia and Walsh, Edith and Zach. Mm. Mm. I have a lot of notes of this one. A lot more than um, what if it's for. Not a lot, but you know, I'm more than what if it's for. Also, one thing that I said, a note I said, it was on page, I don't know the page. Uh, the guys of the baseball team were organizing an after party down by the bay after the game. Okay. Why was there so many parties in this book, you guys? Why was there so many parties? These characters 
like like some of the things I should not have classified them as parties, like them going down to the bay is not a party. You know, I shouldn't have called that a party, but I called it a party here. But literally my comment is like, why are there so many parties? Like, I don't even think, I mean, I just wasn't invited to that maybe, but like my, in my high school days, no one threw a party. There were so many parties. I was dying. At, at, at that point, I'm like, and, and it was chapter nine. I'm like, how... How many are we going to have? And they're back to back, kind of. So that was something I did not enjoy about my writing. I think I would have definitely uh, switched that up. Um, or at least just change the phrasing. Like, like, don't call it a party, but like the the uh, the word usage of party. I'm like, okay. We, we had the party where she gets dumped. The party where they go to Ryan's house there's a beach party. There's so many parties. There's so many parties. Oh, anyway, but the, the comment between, um, uh, Edith and Zach that I thought was really cute was that Edith was like, how are they, how's the game going? Are they winning? If I, if, if our team wins, Zach owes me five bucks. And then obviously baby ends up winning. And I thought it was so cute. I commented, Stop, this is so cute. Zach knew Bayview would win and still made the losing bet because he knew they were cheating. And I'm like, wait a second. So he knew they were going to win. And he's like, oh, no, I think we're going to lose. I'm like, that's so cute. That's so cute. Like, uh, <laughs> that's something that, like, hit me in the heart. I'm like, uh, that was adorable. I, I Zach is an interesting character, and I when I wrote him in their book, because I actually did write Edith and Zach's book. I wrote, I don't think I wrote a full first draft, but I wrote quite a bit of a first draft. And you, if you, if you had been in my short story tier on Patreon, you would have been able to read it. It is not up anymore, um, but it was very cute. I thought it was cute um, and fun, different, kind of similar vibe to out of my league, but. It was not meant to be. It was not meant to be. You guys are so sweet. I want to give you big hugs. Loved all the characters except for Scott. Yes, yeah, Scott literally is the worst. Literally the worst. Like all the characters are so awesome. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Scott was wearing well, but he can get flushed on by that. I agree. Yes, yes. I very much so agree. What character did I? I really liked Jules' character. Um, I don't love, I made a comment on it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I made a comment on it. Uh, it just says it's a little cringe. It's the, it's the, the scene at the end. Oh, okay. Okay. You say you don't mind spoilers. Okay. 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 I would trust you. It's a scene at the end where Jewel dumps Scott and then Sophia and Jewel are like, yeah, friends forever. I'm like, wow, this is such a Disney moment. This is such a Disney moment. It's very Disney. Like, we're all happy. Like I was, I, I, I did cringe at that. Um, in the first draft, I believe I had Scott um, use Jewel as like a fake date himself. Um, that they were fake dating themselves, and I was fully expecting that to happen. Like her to be like he had he we were I, he had me fake this too. I don't know. But like when I got to this part where she actually dumped him and when they uh, I was like, oh, oh, I don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> but that so that part I didn't love. But I like Jules' character. I think I did a better job with the girl, the other woman, if you will. I did a better job with her in this book. So I enjoyed that. Um, one, I, so I, I, yes, yes, that's something that I, I, yes. <laughs> um, let's see, smart kids like, I mean, that's true. That's true. Not that I know, I didn't play sports, but a fitting for summer. That's true. We like to party. Literally everyone throws those parties. I don't know. But I just feel like in my, I guess I lived in a small town. I feel like around me, nobody threw parties. <sighs> um, uh, what was I going to say? There was one other thing I was going to say before I moved on. Hmm. I don't remember. 
fudge. Um, do you have any favorite lines? So any lines that you highlighted? For me, I obviously am reading this on my phone, so I have lines that I've highlighted, so I can share those with you. But did you have any lines that you highlighted? Jess, hello. Caitlin, hello. So glad you can make it. Love the relationship between them. Yay. I have Edith's book on my laptop and Patreon. I still haven't read it. Oh, you still have it. <laughs> can we read the short story? Too? Oh, oh. I'm not even going to entertain it, <laughs> but I, 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 I love that you loved it or like that you love the idea of it. Oh my gosh. Did it give me so much stress <gasps> trying to figure out what to post every single month? I'm so, I, I, I love that we could do it for the time being, but especially now when I am in between books, I, especially, and especially like that I'm going very hard on finishing this draft that I'm on. Oh. Uh, Doing a short story tier from every month would have would have probably killed me. I probably would have been dead and gone and six feet under. Oh, the the, the thought of it of the stress now is just like, ugh. but uh, it was it was a fun fun for the time. I really wish that when I closed the tier, that anybody who had been in it, like who had, was still in it, could have. Um, could still access those files, but unfortunately, Patreon just deleted the whole backlist of it. So <sighs> it's unfortunate, but you know, you know what? I wonder if some of the posts are still available if you're in the self publishing tier. Because I know the top tier gets anything below them tier wise on Patreon. So I wonder if the posts still remained for those who are in the short story, for the self publishing tier. I would assume so. I never looked into it to check. Interesting. But I will say that going forward, future stuff, um, the self-publishing tier is the tier that is going to be getting the like first three chapters of the new book or the boy's point of view of the new book. So the, the, the self-publishing tier is kind of turning into the short story tier, except it's not something every month. It's just something when, it come, when a book release is coming. So if that is something that intrigues you, anybody in this chat, that's for you. <laughs> uh, good. I good. I wanted people to. That's why I think I had I I had message like I had posted about it. Like, hey, here's some of the links. Um, or the backlist. Go back through the backlist. I'm glad you did. Um, because I, I like I said, I did feel terrible that it deleted all the posts and nobody could get them anymore. But <clears throat> I'm so happy I downloaded all her short stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Thinking that she's done something, I was wondering why she was doing that. Yeah, and I and I think that was something that didn't get fleshed out fully because it, it was something I had changed. Because when she was fake dating him, then it kind of made sense. Like we could we could surmise what happened there. But like, why was she dating him? He's not great, you know. But then again, then again, friends, why was Sophia dating him? So maybe he's good to like real women in, and then he just sucks, you know. Because, like, I can't imagine Sophia dating a bum like Scott anyway, you know? But she, at some point, she was reeled in by him. So, we got to give Jewel the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> got to give the writer the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> uh, where I live, everyone those parties I've never invited. That's so funny. I literally, I don't, huh. Like, my friend group, we had, like, everybody came over and we had like we hung out in the one guy's basement we played mario party or mario kart but super smash brothers super smash brothers that's what we that's what we played we wouldn't call that a party we never drank we never did anything we just it was, it was weird <laughs> uh i want more jewel because she seemed cool she did seem kind of cool didn't she I, I i'm glad i i wrote her in a positive way that we it wasn't another um savannah situation i will say savannah and celia in my head they're the same person like when i wrote both of those books like what are friends for anatomy league um i used like the basic the, the same stock character <laughs> for them because i'm like i don't know i i really didn't have much experience with mean girls in high school we didn't really have mean girls we were a bit too small of a school to have like an actual popular click and anything like that so at that point i'm like i don't know how to write a mean girl not that celia's mean but celia started out meaner i will say i think actually initially now that i'm thinking well when i reread this i was very confused 
Um, I think initially Celia and Walsh were together. Um, and they had an on and off again relationship going. So I was actually shocked when it said that Celia was dating Zach. I was very confused. I'm like, I don't remember that. But apparently we made that change. Um, so Celia did was meaner. And then I think I really lowered her part in this book. Because she's not really there very much at all. So I haven't read it since it, when it first came out. Listening to this makes me want to read it again. Well, that's the whole point of this uh, little little book talk. So I guess, hey, then if it's making you want to read it, you definitely should. Join us for a read-along. Read-a-thon, Rita. Read-along. For a while, I was calling it the re-read-a-thon. But for some of us, it's our first time reading it. So, hey. One of the lines I underlined back in 2020 was the undies line. And she was, that was so funny. I was like, mm, mm, that was funny. I did enjoy that one. <laughs> a favorite character besides Walsh is Jewel. Yes, because she breaks up with Scott. Yes, and, and shows it to him. Rubs it in his face. <sighs> I would love occasional short stories every month, but every now and then. Uh, yeah, I'm not promising it. Um, but it is something that I want to do going forward. And so... For only for when I publish things, but because I just think it's just too much. It's it. No, I know it's too much. I was practically crumbling under all that pressure. So, just friendly reminder: you're doing a great job. You're amazing. <laughs> you're the sweetest. You're the sweetest, Treya. Oh, I don't believe we have actually. Dang it! Dang it! Well, you know what? Maybe one day I will. Um, because I still have them on book funnel. The files did not delete from me. So maybe for those who are in the self-publishing tier, I will make a um, master list for it all. But not now, because we are in full send territory to <laughs> finish this book. I'm getting close. I'm getting so close. The short starts. Okay, they are still there. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I will still probably do that still. I probably will still, you know, make the master list. Uh, I was the top tier. I still, I can still, okay, good, good. Oh, good, good. I have all the short stories too, but I have them on book funnel. Gotcha, gotcha. I can relate. I dated a guy in high school who was walking out drinking wine parties. So I can relate. <laughs> hey, you can extra relate. It's okay. I feel you. Guys in high school are, guys in high school are, were, ugh, the worst. I have all the short stories too, but I have them. Oh, they just said twice, I see. How many people were in your graduating class? 54. 54. The school as a whole had 300 kids. The high school as a whole? 300? I think 350 max, but I think it was 300 around there. But 54 was my graduating class. So we were very small. Uh, I was confused. I confused Celia with Jewel and forgot all about Jewel until I read the book again. That's funny. That's so funny. Writing a short story every month. It's so much. So much. And that's why uh, for the longest while I had started doing the first drafts. So, yes. Uh, next question I want to, before we jump into, oh, I want to share some lines. Ah, okay, then I'll, I'll answer this. Um, I have not thought of Reem. No, I... I have so much on my plate right now that I can't even, I'm not even marketing on Instagram very well. So I feel like if I, before I'm doing anything else, I need to get back into my marketing game. Um, so we are not really quite in the realm to be adding a little bit anymore to our plate, but maybe one day. Um, I suppose the question we can, I can ask you now, you guys can answer while I read some of my highlights and comments. On a scale of one to 10, how similar did you feel to the main character? Let me know. Okay, so I have a few, I have quite a few, but I'll try and go through these really fast. The first thing I highlighted was in chapter one, Remy's like desperation for her journalism program. I loved it. I loved it so much. I loved how dramatic she was. She kind of gave me Remy, but like a little bit more like, not, not like not manic. Manic is not the word that I want to use, but like, crazy Remy you know like like uh, what is the word I'm trying to find um like ugh, intense intense maybe I, maybe maybe that's what I mean because I feel like Remy at times had that sort of like teenager do or die mentality but uh Sophia's 
I was going to pass out right there with two minutes left of the day of school. I was going to pass out, knock my head against the desk, fall into a coma, and have to be airlifted to the hospital. And there wouldn't be a school newspaper to report on it. I, I died. I died. I'm like, oh my gosh. I love her so much. She's so intense and dramatic. And it was so cute. Um, next one was in chapter two. It was when uh she rushes to her journalism teacher and is like i just need it like i i can do this let me write the article and she goes all i need is a chance and my comment was like okay chicken little because chicken little like if you've seen the movie he's like all i just need a chance or all i need is a chance and i thought that was funny that i somewhat it just i i could hear it in my head echo all i need is a chance no <sighs> Um, the next comment that I have is on chapter three. Edith is driving her to the party, I believe. And, um, Edith says, you know, I feel a lot more confident with you around. Two men were not one person. Remy replies with, what are friends for? And I just, I put a comment that was like, <laughs> laughing. Um, you know, because we love it when the titles appear in books, you know, even though that's not the title, even though that's on the title, um. You know, it's just funny. Um, oh, I loved this line. This line actually had me laughing out loud, this, this exchange. Um, it's when Walsh is talking to Sophia at the, like the little cliff ledge thing behind his house. And uh, he like says, like, you're Sophia Walsh. You, um, you were my US civics class. You're the journal editor, the new, junior editor of the newspaper, blah, blah, blah. She goes, there's no way you knew all that. And Walsh says, yeah, I had to ask someone what, what your article about was. Oh, my gosh. I had to ask someone what your article was about. I didn't read it. Walsh looked at his shoulder unbothered. Not really my thing. Remy, uh, Remy. Sophia goes, what? Reading or recycling? I'm not an animal, Sophie. Reading, of course. I laughed out loud. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Laughed so, so loud. And then I'm like, oh, that was funny. That was witty, you know? What, what do you not do? Reading or recycling? I'm not an animal. Reading, duh. Oh, it's, it's, it was funny. I just, I loved it. <laughs> um, uh, another thing I highlighted was when they were walking dogs and she commented, this must be the perfect place for you, Walsh, among your own kind. And he says, you know, I wondered why I felt so comfortable. I thought it was funny because uh, when they were at that cliff ledge thing, she had like called him a dog. Um, I thought it was cute that that came back. Hmm. I, and I also just love the cheesy lines of the, what, shouldn't we get a photo and caption it? This might have been an accident, but falling in love wasn't. I loved that cheesiness that they had in their banter. Like, it felt very, like, perfect for them. Both, the, like, especially, like, coming coming down to, like, the sign that she, did, like, said she would make the, he stole second base in my heart. Like, the cheesiness there is enough that it's, like, cutesy rom-com to me. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the next line that I highlighted, I like it. I definitely would have changed one word in it. Um, it's when Walsh and Sophia are about to go swimming, and Sophia is, like, afraid to take the cur clothes off and just be in her swimsuit. Um, actually, funny enough, initially, this scene happened at night. Um, but then that was a little too, little, little too, little too scandalous for me for having a night. And then they're like close in the water and stuff. I don't know. It just felt weird. Um, so now we have the bay scene during the day. But which one Walsh says, if you say you're not as sexy or amazing as anyone on the beach, Sophia, whatever your middle name is, Wallace, I'm going to throw you in the bay. But that was cute. I would have changed the word sexy in it. I would not have used sexy. I would have used beautiful. Um, Definitely would have used, I don't really know why I used sexy because gross, uh, but, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, another, another line that I highlighted was when Walsh said, like I said, I love the sport, but I hate the game. Thought that was cute. It just felt, it felt like I, I could see myself trying to say something that sounded sporty and like, it might not literally make sense. Um, but I, you know, it made me laugh. <laughs> um, next one I highlighted was chapter 13. Nerdy Sophia grounded. What did you do? Read past your bedtime. Chuckled at that one. Uh, 
then chapter 14, we have Walsh being a gem saying, don't listen to Scott. You should never apologize for being the rom-com loving, slushy, obsessed, talented writing nerd that you are. Don't ever apologize. Green flag this man. Walking green flag. I want to just squish him. Um, Something else that I, I read. So is when Walsh is taking her out to the backyard for the 4th of July. He's like, relax, your shoulders are so tense. I'm not about to kill you and stuff you in my trunk. And she goes, your trunk's huge. You really think you have to stuff me into it? It's funny because my dad said this to my mom about something, and I just used their line. It was like, you know, those drainage ditches that are, like, on the side of the road? And that when, like, there's a driveway or something that goes over the ditch, there's, like, those metal tubes. They have a They have a name. They have a name. What's their name? The metal cylinder things that, you know, allow the water to continue passing through the drainage ditch. What is that called? I don't know. But you guys know. You'll tell me. And I'll get to the comments. I'll be like, yes, that's what it is. Um, my dad had made a comment about something like stuffing my mom into one of those. And she's like, you think you'd have to stuff me into it? And I, I, I laughed. And so I remember I had used that line in inspiration of my parents. They're very cute. <sighs> um, next line I highlighted was in chapter 17 when Penny made a face at his words, Sophia. Sounds very sophisticated. The words are right at the tip of my tongue, and Walsh doesn't. Like, she's over here judging the name Sophia when she named her son Walsh? What? What? So, well, that was funny. Um... The, this part, I, I I think I'm close to the end. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of like going on and on. But hopefully it's fun to like also trans, like go back to the story again. Now you can see like the little tidbits behind it and what the author thinks is fun about it. Um, So the scene where they actually are at the baseball diamond and Sophia, uh, you know, the final time Sophia hits the ball. And it's out of here. Sophia Wallace hits a home run. The crowd goes wild. My voice echoes in the field loud. I mimicked an audience screaming, ah, ah. And then after that, they go lay on the grass. That's that part when I wrote it, or I think when I wrote it, because it's so like solid in my head, I was picturing the scene <laughs> where, oh, what's his name? Troy Bolton comes and finds Chad, Chad Dan Dansworth, Ch Chad anyway, in the gym in High School Musical. And then he's doing the uh, something, something for the record books. <sighs> like that scene. So so if you ever reread it and you've seen High School Musical 3, know that that kind of just inspired me for that scene. <laughs> or at least it's what I pictured when I was reading it. So that was funny. But that High School Musical 3 came in as inspiration in this book. It's very fitting, to be honest. Honestly, it's fitting. So... <laughs> Uh, the, next, the same chapter when Walsh says, you're not selfish for wishing things were different, Sophie. If you were, I'd be selfish too. Swoon. Chapter 21. I have a comment that says, I'm laughing so hard. What was I laughing hard at? Oh, when she's standing out in his yard. I was picturing like, you know how, I don't know if any of you have seen like Halloween, any of the Halloweens. I don't remember which one specifically, but I know at least in like the latest Halloween edition of like 2018 or whatever one that was. Um, the, the the first one in the newest trilogy of Halloweens. Like somebody looks out their window and Michael Myers is just standing in the grass, staring up at the house. <laughs> I picture that's how Sophia is standing in Walsh's yard at like one in the morning, staring up at his house. And that he's like, you trip the motion sensor in the driveway, the thing that's out a bell in, in the house, like a doorbell. And she goes, ah, awesome. So he knew I was out here. Well, not me, but someone. He knew someone was being creepy. I, I did laugh out loud at that because that's so embarrassing. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, it's embarrassing in general. Like, I don't know why she is standing in his yard and not calling him, but okay. <laughs> I, I did lie. I did, I did die. Same chapter. I thought the kissing scene kind of felt a little rushed into. Um, I think they, the, a little bit more dialogue could have worked. Um, it just, it just, it was cute, but it, it I, I didn't edit that scene enough. Um, full disclosure, when I first wrote that scene, I wrote it 
I wrote this whole book with more inclusions of alcohol than there are in the final draft. Um, this scene, Sophia had like drank in a little thing, a little bit. And so she was, and so I think that's why initially it was rushed. And I just don't think I edited it enough to take that rushedness out. So that's why she's acting a little weird in this scene. I just didn't edit her better after having taken the alcohol. I don't know. I, I, I did not like the thought that she drank and then she'd kiss it. That's gross. Like I didn't like it at all, but I had written it that way initially. And just some things when you draft them a certain way, they never quite lose their full tone of the initial way they drafted it. If you're not careful about it. Um, now I think I've gotten to a point where I can see like how to edit out a tone when it doesn't fit anymore. Um, but back then, back then for my first book, I definitely did not. So I do think this scene going into the kiss is a bit rushed. Um, but so cute. So cute. I also thought it was a little strange. They're kissing on his bed. Um, a little scandalous for me and my choice of for what young adult. Um, but it's fine. Okay. But in the last, this last one. In the last live stream that we did, I said, did you guys notice any lines or 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 see if you notice any lines that are reused in Out of My League from Wonder Friends 4? And so one of the lines was when they are making up at the end, how they do. So in Wonder Friends 4, Elijah, let me let me look it up. Let me look it up. I'll look it up. Because it, it's I shouldn't read it back to back. You know Okay, I hate I hate how how similar it is. Um, Elijah says, "Give me a chance, a chance to take you shopping, to get ice cream, to fix your door, and to kiss you." And then Walsh says, "Give me a chance, a chance for you to roll your eyes at me a million times, and for me to call you Sophie, a thousand more lame parties and baseball games and dog walking and fireworks and all that stuff." And I'm like, "Oh, how did I not catch that?" How did I catch it? They're both like, give me a chance, girl. Apparently, that is what made 20-year-old 20, 20 Sarah Sutton swoon, is a man saying, give me a chance. Because we did it two books in a row. Um, thankfully, though, it doesn't look like I did, did that at all for Can't Catch Your Breath or Two Kinds of Us. I do think for Can't Catch Your Breath, I don't think he has an apology that he has. No, I don't think so. I, don't, I think she's the one apologizing. <gasps> Spoiler. <laughs> uh, I think I was here. It's such a small school. Very small. Very small. <laughs> it's very small. Well, it's funny because we actually combined schools. With a, uh, we, we were our own separate school. And then we were so small that we would either, either have to close or combine with another school. So before we combined, my graduating class would have been 19. So I live in a very, very, very small area. <sighs> Sophia is so much like me with my writing. Sophia is honestly perfect. It reminds me a lot of Maisie. I can see a little bit of Maisie in her for sure. Like the more creative counterpart of Maisie. But they have the same kind of like, you know. Like Sophia, writing brings me joy. and helps me keep going when things get hard in life. Love it. I love it. She's very, she's, she's, she, I, I do love it. I love how dedicated she is to writing. I feel like that is one of the kind of like self inserts a little bit that I had put in. Cause I, I don't do me, my whole self as a character, but obviously as a writer, you do put like pieces of yourself into, you know, your own characters. I think that was my piece in Sophia, especially because Sophia was my, um, was kind of the first ish character that I had written for the contemporary side of things that wasn't a one direction fan fiction. Um, so I feel like she kind of did feel it more like me, especially in the first few drafts, but that one kind of stuck her dedication to writing and like the passion behind it. However, I am not a nonfiction writer. I don't, I don't love that, but I think the um, intention with just the passion for writing and stuff was there and it was just really pretty. I just liked it. I love how dramatic she was in the beginning. Love that line. <laughs> so dramatic. So dramatic. I love it so much. All right. I'm going to just go through these ones. I love these caption lines. <laughs> they were so cute, weren't they? They were so cute. I was doing homework. I should have put on a timer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm glad you're here now. 
Dog Puna shoes. That was so funny. So funny. Ah, so funny. Ah, so funny. I like these sexy. I don't know. It just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Ah. Culverts. Culverts. Yes. I don't, I don't know that tags well. I, I also have no idea. But that is it. Culverts. Thank you so much. I don't know. Well, so just, just, I, beautiful was, was the, definitely the better word. Um, but there was one line at the beginning of the chapter about she wasn't sure what woke her up because I'm pretty sure that line was in the most like two books. Oh, I love that. I just think it's funny, you know? And it's funny, like, it's not something you would ever notice if you weren't reading them all, like, you know, kind of quicker. Because I, 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 uh, you're right. It was, it was in, what, what was that? It was in, did you read the way next door? Did you read the way next door? When she wakes up at Reed's house, I think. Oh, I don't know what woke me. And I, and I think, that, I think you're right. I just think it's funny because like I, you know, use, cause, cause out of my league was, I, I wrote that in 2020. That was the last time I touched it. I wrote, she read the way next door in 2023. So like so many years have gone by, like I don't even remember what I wrote, but it's so funny that like some lines just still stick, you know, it's kind of like, like, a like I used, I wrote something recently that I, I thought like, Oh, a lot of people use this line. Shoot. What was that? It's kind of like, it kind of gives like the, uh, I don't know. I just think it's funny how sometimes like things just kind of, Still stick in the little your brain, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I see this one. <laughs> it's a freaking fun love behind the scenes. Ah, so fun, so fun. I agree. It's a game. The author's annotated version. Ah, that that is fun. Um, I think this kissing scene was perfect. I'm glad you think so. I do wish there was another one that lasted longer. I do wish there was another. Well, the another what that lasted longer? I get that it happens to me. Oh, I forgot that they kissed in the bed today. Slay. It was a little, a little steamy. All I remember is the Waterfront 4 line in the beginning. 2012. Was it really? You're right. 2023 was Faking the Football Player and. Wow. 2022. I, see, I didn't even know that. I, I, I'm over here like. 2023. Yeah. No. <gasps> Crazy. That's crazy. Time just flies. Time is just strange. Strange. Ugh. I think that's all I have in terms of questions. Let me check. I don't think I have any more. Yeah. For me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how similar do I feel to, to Sophia? I would say... Hmm, I would say probably a six or seven six six i feel like as a teenager i might have been more similar to her but i don't know eh, i don't know she, she she handles life situations very well like she handled the whole scene with walsh's parents very well i i really liked how she handled walsh's mother um and was compassionate towards walsh after that and like concerned about walsh and not like offended or anything like that. Um, I did enjoy her perspective on that. She just was very mature. I love that for her. <sighs> but that being said, I think I have reached the end of everything that I wanted to talk about for this stream. Next week, this upcoming week, starting tomorrow, we are tackling Can't Catch Your Breath. And I'm so excited. I, I'm i so excited. Like, <laughs> just not to sell. Uh, Addie and Vincent, I feel like it's another duo that I haven't gone back to in a long time because I published this book 2021. So I, I know, did I reread this book? There's, I know I reread If the Room Fits. I thought I reread another book and it might have been Can't Catch My Breath, but I don't remember for sure these. Um, but I am excited to reread this one. And I'm excited to reread them all. I guess that's a spoiler. I'm, I mean, it's kind of obvious at this point. I'm excited to reread them all. Um, so I cannot wait to go back and see all the cuteness between Addie and Vincent. This one has more angst, though. Um, so don't go into it expecting another lighthearted book the way 
out of my league in one of friends forward this one is more angsty trigger warning it does contain or it does like the aftermath of, of the death of a parent um no death on the page but death of a parent is prevalent in this book so something to be warn be aware of for the content warning um but i am very excited for this one i'm excited to that we usually like meet Margo a little bit. Like I think she's in here for like one line in this book. Um, because I'm working on Margo's book right now. And so I'm really excited for that little scene and the scenes with Estelle. And I'm really excited for two kinds of us when we get Margo in full and I can just see her in like this it's that I'm really excited. So excited. Also, can you believe that we are already over halfway through our read-along? Crazy. Um to April has just been flying by, but thank you so much for joining me along with it um, and reading along with me with it. Um, I, I, I really do, I really do appreciate it. I, I will say I didn't expect uh, there to be this much interest in a reread, um, a, re a read along, but I'm really thankful that you guys, uh, you know, read, read along with me and you know we're we're doing this together. It's a lot more fun to do it with somebody than to re be reading on your own. So, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, thank you guys for being here. Have a great day as well. I am excited. I also come to the next stream and you can share with us there your final thoughts on Anatomy League. We will allow it. Um, so I'm excited to hear what you think. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, uh, and if you're also, if you're on Patreon, I am going live in an hour. Um, we're doing writing sprints. So for those of you who are on Patreon, this is your reminder. And I will see you guys next Sunday for us to talk about Can't Catch a Rat. Bye.